Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got an interesting comment on one of my scaven videos. It was from my friend Mick, whose channel is Styrene Phoenix. Um, he said, "Like oh, I, I must have a lot of scaven now." And to be honest, I never thought about it. It was like it got me thinking. I said, and I said to him, "I think I should take it all out and add it up and see what I have." So um, that's exactly what I want to do. And what's in front of you is just my box of Island of Blood bits. Um, so like there's a few scaven parts in here. The rest of it is upstairs on my shelf. So I'm gonna take it all down, and I'm gonna work out how many points of scaven I do have. Now the scaven was an army that I never intended on collecting until I got this set. So I like I just kept buying more bits and more bits. Not like to build an army to play, just because of what looked cool and what I wanted to work on. So um, I'm not expecting too much points because. Like a Skaven Warlord is only like barely over a hundred points or something like that. I can't remember. Like they're everything is really cheap. They're more you get more models instead of like high points cost models. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna take everything down. I'm gonna work out how many points I have and see what I have. I think I should have about a thousand maybe without any upgrades. So stay tuned, and I'm just gonna go upstairs and get it and see what I have. So I had a bit more scaven than I thought I had. Um, in the end, it all added up without kind of upgrades for your lords and uh, heroes. It added up to fourteen hundred and seventy nine points, which is way more than what I thought I had. And um, the only thing that's not built that's still in the box is my hell pit abomination. Um, I get around that. I'm hoping. I'm thinking maybe next month I'm gonna start that. I've had it for a while now. I really should get started on it. Um, a few units have like one or two, well, three or four or five kind of figures missing, but they're not missing. I haven't just haven't met them yet. They're still on the sprues. So um, yeah. So let's start off. First off, I have uh this guy. This guy here, if everyone remembers, I have him for my uh Skaven. This is Zombie Skaven. This guy is a Warlord. That's what I counted him as. And he comes in at 90 points. And then the next guy is this one. My other Undead Skaven project. He's the Gracer and he, he's really expensive. He comes in at 240 points and you, you don't get to take any upgrades this guy. Except for Screaming Bell which I don't have. So I am. Um, and that's why he's from, he's from that kit as well. So. Um, they're the two hero choices that I have and then or there are two lore choices sorry then moving on to the heroes um, I have a chieftain which comes in at 45 points and I use this guy's chieftain because um, when I go over the upgrade points later on I, I'd upgrade this guy to a, a BSB battle standard bear because he has like the kind of the banner the flag on the back of it so he's coming in at 45 points and then we have these two guys the two warlock engineers now these are really really cheap basically they're your two spellcasters but you have to upgrade them to a level one and without a level one they're only coming at 15 points each so that's 30 points for the two of them which is like next to nothing but you have to upgrade them i think um i think there's a whole lot of uses unless you want to take some magic items at them so i am um, and then move on to the core i have two big blocks of core i just left them that way i didn't bother trying to like split them up into three and that's why I have them up on my shelf, so I just kept them like that. So first off, we've my uh, undead Skaven, my zombie guys. There is 20 of these. And they're coming in at 90 points. And then with the full command, which is like the standard bear, musician, and the leader guy. Um, that's another, I think it is, what is it? Another 20 points. And then I have these guys as well. The poison wind marker. And I... I forgot how you take these, I forgot you have to take them with the units. So uh, with that, in that as well, it all adds up to 170 points. So and then we go on to the next big unit. Um, 
Unfortunately, I'm like one short of having 40. So I have 39 clan rats here. With, um, and you can upgrade these guys with shields and spears. And it doesn't really matter because they're uh, a half a point each. So I do have like, I have spares on these guys, shields on the other, so the extra half point on each guy is counted into it. And this guy has, um, Warfire Thrower, that's it, I couldn't remember the name, but, which is this guy. Just pretty cool little model. Um, and all together that one, that whole unit comes in at 246 points. So, um, that's the, that's the biggest unit I have, point wise and size. Um, then onto the back down here, you have my battered unit of storm vermin. I only have like one, two, three, four, five, seven painted, and two of those are only on the bases. The rest of them are still kind of works in progress. Other guys, they're not even glued to their bases yet. And I'm working on two more now well, as I film this as well. So they come in at was a storm vermin with full command, a hundred twenty of them. 165 points and I still have I think a couple of them on the sprues still to make so the full command 165 points so those guys are pretty pricey and I go over the upgrades there's an upgrade with them as well you can take it I think I have it written down and then the last unit in the core and these guys are awesome I love these they're rad ogres um, pretty basic 103 points the only upgrade is uh, get the upgrade one of these like a leader guy you get an extra weapon skill and an extra attack for 15 points so you, they're 40 points each and with the molder i think it's eight points i think it worked out i can't remember but you have to have him in with the unit so um that's it for the core oh no i think the night runners are still core i can't remember but these guys are like in, kind of like assassin ninja units the monkey scaven as i call them when i was painting them up uh, there's 20 of these, I split them up into two units of um, two units of 10 because I don't think you can see a full 20 unit of these going around so they come in at 70 points each, 140 points which is a bit pricey for these guys but um, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into they do come in, like with slings and throwing stars, they're pretty handy that kind of way that's some cool stuff so then, um, oh the rat war was on the core, I'm sorry, I've seen it now, I think I said they were core they're uh, special, I think. And then the rear, then the only guy you haven't got taken out of the box is the Hell Pit Abomination. This big badass, two hundred and fifty points. And that's with the upgrade with the warp stone things on it. So he was two, three, five, and then with that little small upgrade, he's two hundred and fifty. So I'm, um, yeah. So that's it. That's fourteen hundred and seventy nine points. Now with the upgrades, with the warlord guy that guy now he is what did I have him doing this 90 points just by himself now you can give him like hand weapon grip and that kind of stuff but the main one is you get to give him 100 points of magic items and other items from like the skating book so that's if you add an extra 100 points onto that that brings up to 190 um, and then the chieftain guy which was the other kind of warlord model I had he comes in at 45 points but if I want to upgrade him to a BSB it's 25 points and you get to give him a magic banner and it says there's no points limit so I, I just took like whatever the highest banner in this game and I remember was just 75 points so that's another 100 points extra for the BSB and then the two warlock guys who if you want to upgrade them to a level 1 that's going to be an extra 100 points between them so 50 points to get them to a level 1 um, if you want to get them to cast at least one spell from the scaven book so uh, all together with all with them upgrades for the lords and heroes, it all adds up to seventeen hundred and seventy nine points. So just short of eighteen hundred. Um, you can give these guys, uh, the storm vermin. You can give them a uh, magic standard. I think it is. I have. I don't know if I have a quick look at the book. I forgot to add their upgrades in it. Uh, storm vermin. Uh, one storm one standard bear yeah you can take a magic standard worth up to 50 points so if I took that or at least one that was probably about 30 points it would probably add up to just 1800 so there's, with upgrades there's about 1800 points of scave in here which to be honest I didn't think I'd ever have this I never I thought I'd be building a scave an army and there's still stuff I want to add into it if I was on to build a competitive list um, 
Like there's so much other stuff. I think I'll do a separate video on that now that I think about it. There's a few other things that I could add into it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let me know what you guys think of my Skaven army. 800 points at upgrades. Um, a lot of this is from the Island of Blood. Um, there's like the two units. There's probably one big unit of that. Um, these guys are bought on eBay, but they're from the Island of Blood. These two are from the Island of Blood. Rad Ogre's Island of Blood. Um, Warlock Engineers or Island of Blood. The only, thing, the only things on this that isn't from the Island of Blood is the Storm Vermin, the Night Runners, and my Grace Air conversion, and obviously the Hell Pit. So, the, the, what do you call it? The Island of Blood is a massive help for anyone clicking a scaven. It's huge, because mostly you get all those clan rats in it, which is like a big thing to get out of the way. So uh, let me think what you guys, or let me know what you guys think about this. Um, if you, what you think I should be adding into this next, I know there's the help is still to do. So um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave your opinions in the comment section below. Hit the like button. And as usual, if you haven't, make sure you uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.